Fog at sea was obviously a really big problem. It was even more dangerous closer to shore. Foghorns on the shore could sound a warning, but in the fog, Titanic's crew might not be able to tell from which direction it was coming because the fog would distort the sound and play tricks. Instead, around the British coast, lots of buoys were installed that had bells slung underwater. These could sound a warning to approaching ships. Titanic had a device in its hull called a submarine signaler that could detect the sound of these bells from distances up to 15 miles or 24 kilometers underwater. The sound was picked up by what were essentially microphones installed on either side of Titanic's hull, and then the sound would be relayed through a normal telephone cable to a headset up on the bridge. Because there was a signaler on each side of the ship, if you could hear the bells coming from the left-hand side signaler, it meant that the danger was probably off somewhere to your left. If you could hear it coming from the right hand side signaler, obviously it was somewhere off to your right. If you could hear it coming through both, it meant you were heading straight for it. It was a really clever device, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, it didn't really help much with the iceberg detection. 